Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Alpha ABS video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to be going over how to set up items. Um, before we do jump into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video. Also hit the thumbs up button if you do enjoy the video or dislike button if you didn't enjoy the video. Those kind of feedbacks definitely helps me out a lot. Let's get right into it. So if you've been watching my previous tutorial, everything I talk about in this skill setup also applies for the item setup. It's pretty much identical. Um, so for example, if you want to make a, a healing item, all you have to do is put, on, put in AB at zero, change it to HP recover, make sure your occasion is at battle screen, um, and then you could name it whatever you want and then make um, make it a, either a regular item, key item, or whatever you want. And then you have to set the scope to user because a healing item will be healing the user and not the enemy. But if you wanted to heal the enemy, you can also make it one enemy if you like. Um, and then that's how much it would heal, of course. So if we jump into the game, and as you can see, I also made the chest damage me so I can show you guys um, it actually healing. So if I press six, now I'm back to full health. So if you want to make a projectile, again, everything literally works the same. All you would have to do is change this from ABS 0 to ABS 1. And also, just so you could see actually the projectile that's being thrown across the screen, you could use the image tag. And again, just because everything um, carries over from the skills, you could use the same optional note tags. Um, in your item so for example the image the range and all that other stuff so let me actually put in the range too and also circle and um, zone also works the same way so if I pick up the item I actually think I still have that HP recover HP damage to one enemy because I do want it to damage the enemy up again item as you can see, it's now damaging that one enemy. Um, if I want it to be a zone, all I have to do is change this from zero. I mean, from one, zero, one, two, to two. Get rid of these because, well, they don't work. And then let's go ahead and change that from one enemy. So if you have it to one enemy, it will let you select exactly where you want the zone to be. And then if you have it to all enemies, then it will just attack all enemies around the user. So we're going to set it for that. Let's go back into the game. Come back over here. If I hit six, as you can see, both of the enemies that I'm next to get damaged. And then if I move over right next to the other guy, all three gets damaged. Um, again, if I set it to three, then all the enemies in front of me will get damaged because that's what the zone does. And all the note tags, like I said, carries over. Now, the last thing I do want to show you guys is, um, so if you want an animated sprite for your um, projectiles, instead of having one static image flying across the screen, you could actually have an animated sprite. All you would have to do is name the image what you would normally name it. Put in an underscore and put in four the four representing the four frames uh, so if I go ahead and go to my pictures so as you can see it would actually show um, all four of these frames when I actually shoot the projectile versus just showing the one static image flying across the screen so if I go back into the game there you go so if you look closely you'll actually see that that um, the uh, shadow ball is actually animated and it's not a static picture just flying across the screen so that's pretty much it for this tutorial if you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time i do release a new video and of course your feedback helps me out a lot if you guys have any more uh tutorial ideas leave me a comment down below and i'll definitely get back to you on that um with a video or a comment back um, if you like the video, make sure you like the video. Um, if you dislike it, make sure you dislike it because all those kind of feedbacks definitely does help me out a lot. Um, well, that's pretty much it for this episode. The next time we come back to the Alpha ABS, we'll be talking about enemy setup. And then we're going to be talking about how to set up your states. Um, that's pretty much it for today. Have a good day, guys. Peace.